hello everyone this is Michelle today I am bringing you my centerpiece number three out of my summer centerpiece series so let's go ahead and jump right on into this video now everything you need for this project is listed in the description box but you're gonna need a variety of things such as a wine glass, some styrofoam, a round mirror, some E6000, some ribbon. Um, everything's in the description box. And most of this can be found at the Dollar Tree. And whatever can't be found at the Dollar Tree can be found at Walmart. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to apply my hot glue to the styrofoam. And then I'm going to put the mirror right on top. And then I'm going to apply my uh, diamond wrap to the side of the of the uh, styrofoam and I was just going to use my hot glue to apply it and I'm going to um, apply one strip of hot glue to get it started and then maybe ever every two or three inches I'm going to do hot glue you could do hot glue along the entire um, diameter but I'm going to do about every two to three inches Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a rose. Now, whatever color your party is, um, if your party is purple or turquoise or teal or what have you, you would just go ahead and use that color of rose or ribbon. Um, I'm using red right now, but you can use any color of your choice. Just make sure that the, the flowers and the ribbon match, that they're the exact same color. So I just apply some E6000 around the mouth of the wine glass and I'm just going to center it right over on top of the flower. And I'm going to use this rope that I got from Walmart and I'm going to apply it along the mouth of the wine glass against the mirror and I'm just going to use my hot glue gun to apply it. And I'm going to apply the hot glue all the way all the way around the base of it. And I like this rope because it has like a mixture of silver and white. And I actually got that from Walmart during the Christmas season. Um, and then I'm going to use these stickers that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to apply it just to cover up where the rope comes together. I'm going to put some more E6000 on the bottom of the wine glass. And that's going to attach to the candle holder or the vase that's going to be sitting on top. Then I'm going to go ahead in with my diamond wrap and I believe I'm using nine rows of diamond wrap right here and I'm putting my hot glue every three to four inches. Um, you can put it more often but this kind of works for me. So once I get that on you can totally leave it just like this but I'm going to take it up a notch. I'm going to show you a way that you can kind of improve this. This flower ball, I've used this over and over and over again. It's just a um, styrofoam ball and I apply the roses at the top. If you want to see how to do that, I will have the video link below on how to make the styrofoam ball or how to make the flower ball. And this is just showing you how it would look with just a candle. Now I'm going to go on and I'm going to take it to another notch. I'm going to add some ribbon and some rhinestones. So I'm going to start off with this double sided tape. Um, that's what I'm going to use to apply the ribbon to the vase. So I'm going to cut small pieces maybe about two to three inches in length all the way around um, the entire perimeter of the vase right above the diamond wrap. And then that's what I'm going to use to apply the ribbon. You could use glue, you could use hot glue, you could use, um, you could use E6000, anything you want to apply the ribbon to the base. Just a glue that will cl uh, dry clear. I'm using this because of the video and I just wanted to keep the video moving. So when I get to the end, I'm just going to use a dab of hot glue to uh, seal the ribbon at the end. Now I'm going to go in with these rhinestones that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to put three here just to cover up where the ribbon comes together and then I'm going to start applying the ribbon at the top of the, I'm going to start applying the rhinestones at the top of the ribbon and I'm going to put two rows of rhinestones at the top and you could put three or four or, or none at all. 
it's just whatever is your personal preference for your party now if your party if your color is turquoise or yellow or whatever it is then you would just get that ribbon and the flowers to match those colors you could even get the rhinestones to match that color and then you could get um, roses and ribbons like maybe in white or off-white and just kind of mix it up a bit you can be as creative as you want to be on this I like this um, adhesive rhinestone that you get from the Dollar Tree these stickers because you don't have to put any extra adhesive on them it sticks really well to glass now in the center here I'm gonna go in with some more of this double-sided tape that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna apply a little bit of the red ribbon here as well and then I'm gonna go around it with the rhinestone stickers and where the ribbon comes together I'm going to put a few rhinestones um, just to cover that up and then I'm going to do the exact same thing on the opposite side just to kind of balance it out Now I'm going to take it a little bit to a higher level. This is more or less like a wedding or a sweet 16 or something like that. I'm going to put some rhinestones along um, the sides of the wine glass, kind of cascading down. So if you have, um, if you already have those kind of like hanging crystals, then you probably won't need to do this. But if you don't have any crystals, this is a good way and a cheap way to add that extra sparkle to the centerpiece and it doesn't take long to do because like I said these are these already have the adhesive on the back so it's super easy so guys this is the finished product using the rose ball and I think this is beautiful so guys I want to thank you all for watching please share this video on Facebook Instagram and Pinterest because it really does help out the channel and I will see you in the next video bye bye